Meta poo. Mm mm. Meta poo. <laughs> what is up, guys? It is Harley from Epic Tube HD. What is going on? Happy Friday. It's a beautiful day outside. It's a bit cloudy, but it is sunny. Looks like it wants to rain, but. That's how it is here in Georgia in the South this time of year. I'm literally about to load up the car and head out to the airport and catch a flight to Dallas, Fort Worth for this weekend's Collecticon. Uh, so it is Friday, May 27th. Um, we're gonna have a great time. It's supposed to be a huge show. I'm going out there with my, my guy, Mav, from Mav's Collectibles. So let's get this car loaded and let's get going. But first, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn those notifications on. And let's go have some epic adventures with us, guys. Let's get into it. I'm here with Mav the Mad Collector and his, his wife Rachel. We're not at home, we're somewhere else. We're, in fact, we're, we're in a hotel room here in Dallas, Fort Worth, or actually we're in Fort Worth. And we're headed out to Collecticon today. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a long day, it's gonna be a cool day. We should have a lot of fun, so come join us and let's have, uh, let's check it out. What is going on, everybody? It's Harley, Epic Tube HD. We are here at Collecticon with our guy, Mav, the Mad Collector. We're heading in now. Let's go check it out. It's gonna be a pretty crazy day, everyone. It's gonna be a long day, actually. Let's get into it, man. So we're in front of the convention center. This is where everybody is going into the convention center. So we got two giant lines here. So you have one right here, which should be the VIP line. And then we have another line that's over here, and I think that's General Admissions line. And they are both freaking huge. So Collecticon has officially started. They've let all the people in. We got the VIPs and the regular people are coming in right now. And as you can see already, there is a huge, huge line for the MetaZoo booth already. They're going crazy. And there's a second line that those people can get autographs from the actual artists. So you have people that basically have uh, the skateboards, as you can see right here. Um, so you have the skateboarder line, you got people getting cards signed, so everyone's going to try and get something pretty special signed, which is really cool. And then again, the, the convention itself, there's so much going on. You've got Titan TCG hanging out, um, you've got uh, Dream Book, the Maelstrom guy. People here, and we found a Yu-Gi-Oh! person? Yes! <laughs> the name's Yomi. Check it out. We got the deck, the old school deck. Check that. That is so sick. That is sweet. I love the hair. I put your mom in a taco. How long did it take you to do that? Actually, uh, five days. Five like days? Like five or four days. No, is it just um, a wig or is it part of your actual hair or wig? No, it is a wig. Like it's hard felt cones with like cotton batting to make it curve back like this and 10 millimeter of uh, foam that I dremeled into like a triangle shape. Holy and, cow. Like, the eyes are killing me too. Yeah, it's like I have like dark eyes, so you can't really see it unless I look into the light. Is that bothering you at all? Actually, no. Okay, so. Putting them in hurt, but. So I was in The Walking Dead and I got to be a zombie in The Walking Dead and I had to wear 
um, big, like, uh, what do you call them? Lenses. Contact, contact yeah. lenses. And I, 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 it killed me. It hurt me so bad. <laughs> How are they, do they hurt you at all? Do they make you feel bad? Or anything no, because like, like, they're thin. Like, I, I don't even notice that they're there, save for like, a very, like, fuzzy, like, purple. You get the haze. And just like a yeah. tiny bit, because like it's clear in the middle for me to see, but... That is so crazy, but that is what... This is probably one of the most epic costumes so far that oh, I have seen. Thank you. I mean, this is so sick. I love it. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? It's Mav, the Mav Collector from Mav Collectibles, and we're here at Dallas Collecticon. Come check us out if you haven't done so already, but check out this video with Epic 2 HD, and uh, we're going to get it in today. All right, so we're finally back here where the Caster's Cup is hanging on. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of games going on right now. There's a lot of people that are taking this super serious because there is a lot of money involved. I mean, this is huge. Some games are still going on. A lot of games. You got the, those are the judges right now. So, very cool. Very, very cool stuff right here. People taking this super serious. You should though. I mean, you want to be a competitor, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> Magic is real! Magic is real! This is insane. It looks like a lot of people already got knocked out. I see you just saw all the players, but what are they playing for? Well, besides the cash, they're also playing for these really, really cool looking trophies. So you've got like, you got second place. Then you got the champion right there. And you even got third place. So if you win one of those, that's gonna be freaking pretty epic. So you'll be very lucky to have one of the very first ever big time tournaments winnings going on your record. So that's gonna be pretty cool. And again, you got some really cool stuff here, including we have an uncut sheet right here. Check this out. All right, so it looks like the uh, MetaZoo Caster Cup is on to the next round, basically. The last two guys right there are battling it out. And um, yeah, and then it'll be on to the next round. So they're, they're getting it narrowed down. It's gonna be a while yet, but look. All right, so we're over here at the MetaZoo booth. Again, we're still early, but we got Chris. If you guys don't remember when uh, we were, I did the podcast, he was one of the guys that we got to interview and um, epic artist for MetaZoo. He started in the wilderness, right? Uh, 
Nightfall. Or Nightfall. Yeah. Nightfall. Yeah, that's right. Nightfall. Because we interviewed before the Nightfall that's came right. out. And yeah. you were showing us a little bit of the work. So that was pretty cool. Um, he's got these really, really cool. It's like the, like 101 type stuff. Yeah, cool. these are my Texas prints. His Texas prints. Texas PCs. These are all, these are all Texas based cryptids. Oh, sweet. Yeah. There's, they got the Lake Worth Monster, which is local to here where we're at now. It's about uh, 20 minutes away. Oh, nice. Then you got the Black Eyed Children from Abilene. And then the Frank Shaw Gargoyle, of course, Uncle Sam, because Texas is a more patriotic state. You know, and I was at a <laughs> wedding last weekend, and I pulled Uncle Sam last weekend. If you guys saw that when I posted it, we pulled Uncle Sam. So that was pretty cool. So I'm going to let Chris get back to it. He's going to have a busy day. A lot of people want his stuff. Epic artist. Again, check him out on Instagram. I'll put the link down below. And uh, let's go ahead and catch some more stuff, guys. All right, so we are at another booth. In fact, we're at a, like, a really special one right now. This is one of the main players at Collecticon right now. We got Jason Page What's up, with us. Oh, gee, right here. That is right. If you guys don't know, Pokemon, the original singer of Pokemon song. Gotta catch him all, Jason Page. There it is. Um, but he's gonna be here, so I know you guys aren't gonna see this video right now. You're gonna see it probably a week or two from now. But uh, Jason does a lot of collector kinds. He does a lot of cool stuff. You can catch him at a lot of places. Follow him. Uh, I'll have the links to his uh, page below where you can find out where he's going next. Jasonpage.com. Are you gonna go to LA? Oh yeah. He's gonna be in LA, of course. Yeah, Long Beach. Long you're Beach. out there. That's we'll be in Long Beach, so make sure you guys get out there and check him out. And of course, he did that epic base box where he pulled the Charizard. Yes, I did. Which was pretty and cool. And check it out. Here are the packs that were not sold because we didn't have enough time. But right there, I've autographed each one of the packs, beats and breaks with the number on it right there. Yo, check that out. That looks so sick. Yeah, it's excellent. Nice. I don't think these are going to be open. I think collectors want them actually closed. And yo, we got the first Jason Page autographed Pokemon sealed VHS graded by IGS. First ones ever. Wow, check that out. Yeah, really exciting. Nice. So again, thank you to Jason Page. Be the very best. Peace out. So here are the lines for um, all the autographs. So there's dots of different character people there, but you have a lot of people waiting to get autographs and photos and pretty cool pictures like that. So uh, I think that's really epic. You know, a lot of people, um, you know, influencers, they look up to these people. And, you know, a lot of them are very extremely good, positive role models here in the community, which I think is really great for part of the hobby. Um, whether you like it or not, you just get associated with that stuff. So, you know, and it's cool because, you know, like I said, Lee and Hart, Unless Elite, these guys just, you know, open Pokemon packs just like the rest of everybody else and decided to put it on YouTube. And, you know, they've been great positive role models for uh, the hobby and the public itself. And that's what comes from it. So it's pretty cool to see so many people want to meet those guys. And that's going to do it for this vlog, everybody. Stay tuned for episode two from Collecticon Dallas Fort Worth. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and of course, have more epic adventures with us, Epic Tube HD. See ya.